So you should have read The Cask of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe. And if you checked my classroom, you should have watched this protagonist and antagonist video. So our protagonist is someone who essentially drives the story. Okay. Now, if someone is driving the story, that typically means they're good. Montresor in this story is committing murder. So is he the protagonist or is he the antagonist? We find out in the beginning of the story that Fortunato has wronged Montresor in some way. He has insulted him, so he has decided to lure him down into his catacombs, which is a place for uh, dead bodies to be kept. And I have your definitions up here somewhere. Here we go. So essentially a cask is a barrel for wine. A Montiato is a type of Spanish sherry. Um, typically when you see sherry in the store, it's like a cooking wine. Um, but he lures him down into these catacombs and we find out they're the Montresor catacombs. So if you've ever seen like the Haunted Mansion, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a very good movie. If you've ever seen the Haunted Mansion, um, it's like basically a um, basement where they keep deceased bodies. So the question here is, who is the protagonist? And the protagonist isn't always the good character. So we want to root for the protagonist. Are we rooting for Montresor? Are we rooting for Fortunato? So for example, once Fortunato gets down into the catacombs and he begins becoming more drunk, uh, it's hard for us to understand if he truly is the good character or the bad character. Do you have empathy for Fortunato or are you on the side of Montresor? That will be for you to decide. So it's good for you to think of point of view. Um, and it will be up to you to decide who whose point of view we are from. First person, we would be hearing from one specific person. We have one narrator. Third person, we're hearing from someone outside of the story. They use he, she, or they pronouns. Third person limited, we only get a uh, certain point of views from one character in the story, but it's very limited point of view. Um, and third person omniscient, we see into the minds of all the characters, um, but only at certain points of the story. So what point of view do we have in the story? And how does this sway our opinion on how we feel about Fortunato? Uh, are you on Fortunato's side? Do you have empathy for Fortunato? Or do you have empathy for Montresor? Uh, that's up for you to decide. And you will go on to Classroom and you will... Here we go. Uh, and you will complete the two-head... Uh, activity. So you will have Montresor on one head and Fortunato on the other head. Um, and it will be up for you to decide uh, who the protagonist is and who the antagonist is. <clears throat>